Hey everyone. Okay, last video. This is how to draw the radial nerve. Um, it's just like the others. I'm going to keep it as simple as possible. So when you take your exam, you can just write it on the back of your paper. That way, when you read a question, you can just refer to it. Um, you just have to be able to memorize it, which I feel the radial nerve, you know, the ulnar nerve and the median nerve, it took me, it wasn't that, didn't take that long, but the radial nerve, you know, it has a lot of muscles. All the extensors, there's probably about 11 of them, I think. And then also the triceps, so that's 12 muscles total. So, but you know, I mean, if it helps you learn it, do it. But this is it. It somewhat works for me but I need to memorize it a little better. So anyway, here it is. It's the radial nerve. Okay. Here we go. So what you're going to do is you're going to draw a line and over and all the way down. Okay. And then, just like the other videos, a circle is a potential site of entrapment. A line is a muscle innervation. And then, I guess this one doesn't really matter as much, but I'll, anyway, let's not worry about that. Okay, so this is what you're going to draw. A circle, so one, a line, two, three, four. I try to keep it in groups of four. That way it's easier to remember when you have to draw it. So one, two, sorry, one, two, three, four. And then this one's an exception, one, two. Then a branch out. And then one, two, three, four, circle, line. One, two, three, four. Okay. So we got that. I hope you could see all of it. So your first site of intra so this right here is your radial nerve coming down from the brachial plexus and then right here it represents it going around the back of your arm, so the posterior side. So posterior side of and you know you don't have to uh write that once you know it, but anyway, so this is this potential side of entrapment is between uh, tricep and radial groove. Okay, so that's that. Then you have the tricep, all heads. And then your next one is going to be the inter muscular septum that's your uh, potential site of entrapment and then it's going to go over the lateral epicondyle so okay now let's do the muscles and this is where it's going to be a little work memorizing but if you can memorize this then you'll be golden on the exam because you won't have to think well you know, is this on here or is this this branch? You just have to look at it quick and then you'll know it if you there's like a clinical question or something. Okay, so here we go. So we have, oh, there's one, also there's one circle right here, sorry. We'll find, you'll see that in a second. So we have the ECRL, that's extensor carpi radialis longus, brachioradialis, and then this is going to be your superficial branch. So that's your superficial branch. The potential site of entrapment is it goes under the brachioradialis. Okay. Next we have, so after this we have the deep branch of the radial nerve and that's going to be the ECRB extensor carpi radialis brevis, extensor digitorum, extensor digitorum minimi, and extensor carpi ulnaris. And then next site of entrapment, that is the arcade of Froche. That's where it goes in. It's like it passes the cubital fossa and then goes in underneath the supinator. 
and there's the supinator right here. Okay, sorry if the camera's a little shaky. Um, I did not study cinematography in college, so. Uh, okay, so and then you have your posterior interosseous nerve. So that's after the arcade of Froche. And you have the abductor pollici longus, extensor pollici brevis, extensor pollici longus, and extensor indices. Indices? Excuse me if it's, that's the wrong pronunciation. You know. Anyway, so, and then here it's the cutaneous four. Let me look that up really quick, sorry. Uh, cutaneous of dorsum of thumb and hand. So I have to memorize that, and you do too, I guess. Um, so that's about it. Oh, and let's, why don't we do this? If, you, if you're feeling crazy, you can also write down the compartment numbers next to them. So ECRL is 2. Uh, BRC or BR is nothing, so this is also two, four, five, six, one, one. Uh, oh, can you see that? Sorry. Uh, EPL is three and EI is four. So if you have a question on the test, you can just refer to it back really fast before you forget it. <laughs> All right, so that's it. I uh, hope that was sufficient for you. Here's it is in full. Thanks so much. Cheers.